What is going on guys, it's Kane here and we are back with another video. In this video uh, we will be reviewing the Gemini 200 Virgin Atlantic Airbus A330-300. Uh, this model um, was a very, it's very rare now. It um, was made in 2013, I believe. So it's very, very hard to get your hands on. If you were to get your hands on this now, it would cost you roughly, I'd say, about 120, 130. I managed to get hold of this from France, so it did cost me a little bit more, uh, but that was because of the shipping. Okay, so, this is the box, okay, this is the side. Uh, that's the item number, if you can still get your hands on it. More than welcome to try. That's just the back side of the box. Here. I'll let you read that. If you can hear the noise in the background, by the way, that's my computer. Sorry about that. Um, then here we are, 2013. Um, my Gemini. And this is the other back side of the box. Here. Is now inside the box. So I'm just going to pop you down. And uh, open it up. So that's what it looks like when you get it in. Yeah, there we are. It comes in a polystyrene, I would almost say casing really, it's like a massive cube. Okay, and actually, here we are. the stand itself for this model actually comes in the top of the box. This is the model, okay. The registration is uh, Golf Victor Romeo Alpha Yankee, um, or V Ray, for those of you who don't know phonetic alphabet. And the aircraft name is Miss Sunshine. So we're just gonna have a quick look now. So, as you can see, the door is very detailed. Uh, to, say that, to say that this was Made in 2013, I'm very impressed with the detail on this model. I'm pretty sure you can see that that's actually just some dust there. Get rid of that. Windows. Actual Airbus A330 there. The next door. All the way down. This here. Beacon light. The next door, this door is particularly used as a emergency exit door. Following around, registration. And then the tail, and I love the colour of red. They've got that spot on. Okay, Rolls-Royce engines. This particular aircraft has the Rolls-Royce Trent 700s. It's a very, very... Um, good engine sound, personally. Now the wings. Same on that side. I don't know if you can read that. I'll let you try. Do not walk outside of this area there's the little virgin um logo there love that on the wingtips okay this here um would actually if you got a model now um in flight 200 actually model this better this would actually be a little lump on the top of the model that's probably used uh, uh, used for in flight entertainment and you know, Wi-Fi if uh, if that's available on board. Turn the aircraft round. Let it look. Cut it like that. 
once again, I'm sorry if you can hear my computer. It's, it's bloody noisy. Other side again. Miss Sunshine. And then you've got your A330-300 there. Exit doors. There is a slight issue with that particular one. Um, but it doesn't really matter because it's so rare. And to be honest, you can't really notice it. Um, it's just because it's zoomed in. Next up, we've got the um, antennas here, very detailed indeed. Registration again, and then finally the virgin tail. Now, I'll just put you down a sec. Um, well, sorry, I should have had this ready, but. Get in the stand. <laughs> Give me a sec. Here's the stand. Okay. So, before I show you the bottom, there's the stand. Okay. Engines again are so detailed. In fact, they turn. Okay, so I've uh, been a little bit of specs around this aircraft. This aircraft is uh, seven years old. It has a three class configuration. Uh, so that consists of 31 upper class seats, uh, 48 um, premium. Um, economy seats or business class seats and then the remainder um, 185 economy seats so the first class for Virgin Atlantic is called upper class so here we are this is the um, underside of the aircraft there's a lovely Virgin Atlantic uh, logo there the wheels uh, you've got there the underside of the wing and then the registration there these wheels uh, the wheels on this aircraft um, on this particular model even um, are actually um, in place so there's no gear um, it's just the gear down version only as it was an old model so that's it for, for this review and unboxing. Um, please let me know what, what you'd like me to do next. Um, and comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.